An update now to a story we brought you first on Fox 17. All right, and we'll be together. Millersville police have tracked down the family with a fetus in the trunk of their vehicle. Police called off the statewide search for the driver, a blue Dodge Charger, after a Kentucky coroner verified his story. A Millersville officer pulled over three men from Saudi Arabia, but when they explained they were transporting a fetus to an Antioch cemetery for a quick burial, the officer let them go. I'm very thankful that, you know, that the parents got to take care of their child as they did, and we didn't interfere or defile or disrespect them. But it's still important to know that if there is a death in our jurisdiction, it's my responsibility as chief of police and my department's responsibility to look into that death. The chief says the rookie officer who made that traffic stop should have notified a supervisor and will undergo additional training. Continuing coverage now, Fox 17 spoke to the cemetery director who helped the three Western Kentucky University students bury the unborn child. At this time, the men have not been charged with any crime. Fox 17's Jen French live in South Nashville tonight to tell us why there may have been a misunderstanding with the Millersville police. Jen. Metro Nashville police were here just a few hours ago asking to look at hospital records for the dead fetus. The Islamic Center has them. It doesn't explain why Millersville police didn't ask for the documents in the first place. Provisional report of death. Confronted with a frantic father of a fetus and two other men, Ahmed Mosa did his best to comfort them. So we, we help them. You know, we try our best to help community. Mosa asked for medical records that showed the 15-week-old fetus died on December 7th in Kentucky. The men explained they came to Antioch because there's no Muslim cemetery in Bowling Green. We have to respect. It's like human, you know. We have to respect and bury us as an adult. It caused confusion for Millersville police. An officer stopped the trio for a tag violation. The men said they were in a hurry and had to bury a child's body. The officer never looked for the baby himself. Uh, the custom for Muslims is to bury the dead quickly, preferably before sundown. Uh, you wash the body, wrap it, and uh, bury it. Lipscomb University history professor Howard Miller specializes in Islam. I think we have an example of a, a police officer who may have gone a little too far in the direction of uh, uh, respect for others' customs, uh, and all I had to say was, you know, our custom is we look at bodies we don't uh, know the cause of death. Fraternal Order of Police President Sergeant Robert Weaver says small departments have diversity training with bigger agencies, but this case is unique. This is an area that maybe there is a deficit in training. Maybe this is an area that we need to remind officers of, hey, let's slow things down, make sure we're investigating thoroughly. Ahmed Mosa stands by his decision. You belong to some faith. You, you like to bury according to that faith. Police say this may have been a learning experience for everyone. Fox 17 has requested to view dash cam video of this particular traffic stop. So far, we are still waiting for our request to be granted. We're live in South Nashville. Jen French, Fox 17 News.